say amen. 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 One more time. Amen. amen.
that's a change. Even when you come to Sunday school and, 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 and Bible study, and you come to learn there's a change, meaning that you're growing. You're, you, you, you get a little, uh, 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 a little more understanding each time you come. Uh, I'm reminded of Brother Milton when he said, we're here at school. We're here to learn. We're here to grow. Just like a butterfly before it gets its wings. It, it, it's some stages that it has to go through. It doesn't just, it, it's not just born and then it begins to fly. No, it's a worm. Then he goes into a lava, if I'm correct. And the next thing you know, as he's in that lava, he's uh, uh, changing. All right. All right. And when he comes out of that lava, he has beautiful wings. Yeah, and I'm not going to just say he, but she has beautiful wings as well. Amen. All of us, one day, our health is going to change. It's going to take a decline. But, but that's all right, because he's able. I reminded the sister Vera, she may be in pain right now, but, but he's able. And I, and I look over to my left hand side and I see my mother sitting over there. And they're they not always feeling their best, but he's able. Why is he able? How can you say they're still coming? You got some people that are, are, are healthy and, and, and don't even come this way. But, but yet he's still able, even for those that don't. Come this way, he's still able. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Even when it comes to your finances, it changes. Sometimes your finances is looking good, sometimes it's not. Okay. Even in our relationship, sometimes they're going along real good. Then all of a sudden they take a downfall. But he's still able. I believe sometimes uh, things happen to let us know that God is able. He's able. He is able. Even when we look in our society today, it's like the world has turned from God. There was a change. There was a shift, a transformation. And then we wonder why things are happening the way they are. Even when we look at the president, most people don't like it. But, but sometimes I, I, I believe God allowed things to happen to get out. As we look in the text this morning, verse 1, we see that Saul, it says, And Saul yet breathing out threatenings and slaughter against the disciples of the Lord, went unto the high priest, and desired of him letters to Damascus, to, to the synagogues, that if he found any of this way, before, before they were called Christians, they were called the way. Okay. They were called the way. Yeah. Whether they were men or women, he might bring them bound unto Jerusalem. Paul, or Saul at this time, was a very smart man. A very smart man. And what he was doing, he thought that he was doing good. Sometimes we like to, we can do things, and it may be all wrong, but we, we, we think that we're doing the right thing. But, but, but I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad that God knows just how to get your attention. When we look at Saul, had his left, headed to Damascus, probably had his chest poked out, looking for the first Christian he could find to bind him. He was on a mission, just like so many of us are on a mission in our life. We're on our own journey, going our own way, but God knows just how to get your attention. Look at verse 3. And as he journeyed, he 
came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined round about him a light from heaven. Verse 4 said, He fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? On his horse, chest stuck out, going to arrest somebody. But as he went, the hand of God who came in the form of a light pushed him off his horse. He knows just how to get your attention. You, you might not have a, 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 a conversion like Paul. But something, God caught your attention. Yep. I, I, I told you before, it may sound crazy to some of y'all, but how he got my attention. Come on. Every evening I would get home. I'd go to the mailbox. You know how they used to back day, I don't know if they even do it anymore. They, they'd send those letters. You can get 11 CDs for a penny. <laughs> All mine would say R&B CD. <laughs> And at that time, I, I, I was dealing, the Lord was dealing with me about giving my life to him. Because people on the job were talking to me. Okay. And I was sitting there reading, and, 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 but, but I wasn't saved. Right. I wasn't saved. But this one particular day I got home, but let, but before I get there, I can remember at Philip Tabernacle. All right. It was revival, and George Franklin was preaching. All right. And that Tuesday night, well, no, it was that Monday night, he said, if there's anybody that's here and want to come and take my hand, we're going to pray for you. Okay. And so I, I automatically, like, something just lifted me up. Right. And I went up, and then I took his hand. He said, I, 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 you know you're standing here tonight, but, but tomorrow is not promising. I said, yes, sir, I know. But he said, I believe everybody in here I'm going to pray for you. I said, yes, sir. So as we was leaving church that night, I began to cry. And I, and I thought I made it up in my mind. I'm going to give the Lord my life. Then I would turn back. No, I'm not going to do it. Everybody going to be loved. And so as the day went on, I, 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 I flipped and I flopped and flipped and then Finally, that last time, I'm not going to do it. Made up in my mind, I'm not going to do it. Right. But, but I got to the house. My normal duty, I, I, I would go to the mailbox, pull the mail, mail out, and on that mail, it said 11 gospel CDs <laughs> for a penny. <laughs> and I said, I'm giving my life to the Lord. All right. All right, and it went on from there. But he may have got your attention in a different way. But one thing I know for sure, he knows just how to get your attention. Whatever avenue he has to take, he'll do it just to get your attention because he loves you. He paid a price for you. It was his blood that he shed out on Calvary. That's how much he loved you. Every day he's calling Say, come. Every day he's given us opportunity to come. But Saul at this time really didn't know who it was. Even though he, he in, in, in verse, in, in, in verse 4 he said, Saul, Saul, why persecuted thou me? Who is he persecuted? He was persecuting Jesus. See, see, you have to understand, even though he was not physically persecuting Jesus, he was persecuting his people. Anytime we do harm to a Christian, we, we, we're sinning against him. Nobody shed any blood for you and me that could save us. There's some people that lost their lives trying to save people, but even though they, they lost their life, they could not save them. Only Christ could save you. Only the blood of Christ can wash you clean. Only the blood of Christ can make you whole. Do I have any witnesses this morning to know that it was 
Jesus and Jesus alone. Yeah. He didn't have to have any help. Yeah. That just lets you know the power of God. It said a lifetime around. Knocked him off his horse. In order for me to push Elder uh, uh, Moore down, I had to come and put force against him. Yeah. Yeah. God, Jesus don't have to. He can do it in many different ways. That's the power of the Lord. I don't know no military power. They can just speak something and it happens. I don't know no man that's big in size. He has to put his hands on you to show his power. He has to use you have to see. But God power is unseen with the natural with the natural eye. We can see what God can do. It said when he he, he spoke the world into existence. That's power. He said, let there be light. That's power. Amen. God is a powerful God. He's able. He's able. He's able. Verse 5, he, he, Paul, uh, Saul said, and he said, who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecute. It is hard for thee to kick against the prince. Right. You fight something you came in. You hit a battle that you came in. Why not just go on and give up and give in? Because you can't beat me. Too powerful. Yet loving. Yet kind. Yet compassionate. He's a good God. He's able. He's able. And even whatever your circumstance is, whatever your problem is, God still can use you. Amen. He can still use you. Now we find in verse 6 that he gives Saul an assignment. You was on one mission, but I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm directing you to another mission. And he trembling and astonished said, Lord, what would thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. So now he's getting instructions. Now I know your, 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 you, you have letters now. You might as well just ball those letters up or burn them up, do whatever you want with them because that mission is over. There's a new mission. There's a new mission. I'm reminded of the disciples when he called them from the fishing boats. Drop your nets, leave them. Follow me. You're now a fisherman of men. All those that was in Jerusalem, I want you to go out to them. But Paul has another sign. He has to go outside of that to reach the Gentiles now. So he's on a mission, a, a mission directly from the Lord. And then there was some that journeyed with him. They heard a voice, but they didn't see anyone. Okay. Ain't God awesome? The Lord Jesus speaking to him. They heard the voice. But they seem not a man. He's able. It's a powerful, powerful God. Now there was a certain disciple at Damascus named Ananias in verse 10. God has called him. I got a sign for you as well. <laughs> now, if that would have been you, you'd probably have been frightened too. Now, I'd have heard some things about this man. This man ain't no, he, he ain't no joke. He ain't playing around. He done done some things, some dirty things. 
I, 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 had a man stoned to death. Even though he didn't throw a stone, but he sat there and watched him as they stoned Steve. I done heard so. And you got to understand that this time, uh, 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 the church, just began, it began to spread. Even though there was a lot of things going on at that time, uh, uh, Christians being uh, 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 beaten and all this, but that was just a furtherance of the gospel. Because see, you got to understand, when they ran out, they were just spreading. They just spreading. The good news left from Jerusalem and went on out to different parts. But anyway, Ananias had instructions from the Lord. And he had a conversation with him. In verse 11 he said, And the Lord said unto him, Arise and go into the street which is called straight. Now I'm sending you to a direct point. And I want you to go there. Don't go over here on, 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 on Crook Street. Don't go over there on uh, Beard Street. Don't go over there on Lumary Street. He said, The street called Straight. And inquire in the house of Judas. I don't need you to go into the Jew joint. He said, To Judas' house. For one called Saul, Tarsus, for behold, he prayed. Those are only, and he had seen in a vision a man named I already gave the vision. He know you come. He know you come. He's able. He's able. He says, Come in, putting his hand on him that he might receive his sight. Like I said, he knew he heard a lot about this man. He, he began to say in verse 13, Then Ananias asked, Lord, I have heard by many of this man how much evil he had done to thy saints in Jerusalem. And here he had authority from the chief priests to bind all that call upon thy name. You have to understand, when, when there's a transfer, transformation from the Lord, he can, he, he can still change. He can change anybody. Amen. It does not matter what your background is. I don't care if you're a liar, a cheater, a whoremonger, whatever it is, he can change you. There can be a transformation in your life. If you just trust it, give your life to him. I don't care how bad you've been, where you've been, where you're going, he can change you if you allow him to change you. Is there anybody in the house that knows that the Lord has changed you? Might have parted all night last night, but he's able to change you. Might have been treating people wrong, but he's able to change you. Don't believe in God, but he's able to change you. I know that he's able to change. Because when I look at my own life, I know he's able to change. I can remember as a little boy, we come to church, I sit at the back, me and my cousin. All we was waiting to do, and everything got going, we sneaking out the door. <laughs> Going out in the park about to throw rocks. Okay. He's a traitor. He's able. Yes, he He's able. Yes, he then as I got a little older, <coughs> I was starting to lie. I'm sick. I can't go. I'm sick. But they should have made me get my butt up and go in. Right? As soon as they would leave, and I'm looking out. As right. soon as they're out of sight. I'm running outside to play. Because I didn't want to go to church. He's able. He's able. Done a whole lot of things. Things I, I, I wouldn't even mention to anybody else, but he's able. He's able. Do anybody.
anybody know he's able this morning? Yes, he's able. He can change anybody. I don't care what it is, who it is, what you've done, he can change you. If you got a willing heart. Faith to believe that he can change you. You might be all up in age, but he ain't got no use for you. He can change. Because see, see, verse 15 talks about not only he's able to get your attention, not only is he able to change you, but he's also able to use you. Verse 15 said, But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me. The Lord had already chosen Saul. Knew everything about him. Before he was even conceived in his mother's womb, the Lord already knew him. Just like you and I. Before we came to him, he knew all about us. Yeah. He knew after we came in here, we were still going to lie. Okay. We were still going to cheat. Yeah. We were still going to step out on our spouses. Yeah. We were still going to treat one another mean and hateful yeah. and spiteful. But yet, he still can use you. Yeah. He's able to use you. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. None of us claim to be perfect. Because yeah. if you think you're perfect, he can't use you. Yeah. Yeah. All of us have some shortcomings. Yeah. I'm so glad that he's a gracious God. Yeah. But as we were saying in Sunday school this morning, when we step out of line and do things we ought not do, there are consequences. Yeah. But yet he still loves us. He chastises us because he loves us. In he a good God? He's able to do all things. And there's no failure in the Lord. I'm so glad that, that he can use me even in my messed up way. I can remember one time, a, a few times, my wife, she just looked at me. Something wrong with this man. She said she was even thinking about cutting me off, divorcing me, because I was just, I don't know what it was, but there was some spirit on me. She could just say something to me, and I would get upset. Wouldn't talk to her. And I know that wasn't of God. And even when that spirit came on me, and after I said, I would speak to my, speak within myself, riding down the road. She talking to me, I'm just looking straight ahead. Something on the inside telling me, you know you're wrong. But I would just wouldn't say nothing. Why you not talking to me? Wouldn't say anything. Hadn't done nothing to me. But he's able. He's able. He's able. I know he's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. You can walk out the door today knowing that he's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. Every day of my life I know he's able. Yeah. When you're going through whatever it is, yeah. sickness, whatever it is, yeah. the loss of a love, he's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. He's able. Yeah. He is able. Yeah. Say he's a chosen vessel unto me. He's mine. Don't you worry about the Ananias. I already got this fixed up. You just do what I tell you to do. If the Lord tell you something, you can you 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 can bear, you can you, you can you can hold to it, you can stick to it. Whatever he's gonna do, just what he said he would do. I might not understand it all. I might not understand it all. And I'm going to share with y'all this morning. I didn't know what to preach this morning. That's all right. I didn't know. I got to looking at this thing. I said, Lord, was it when I got home and was watching TV? Wasn't praying like I should have prayed? Wasn't studying like I should have studied? My brother gave me some some advice, go home. Get to yourself. Just meditate. 
did that last night, got to myself, talked to him a little while, right, fell asleep, <laughs> woke back up this morning, Lord, what do you want to say to us? Still nothing. Right, Still nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I noticed I wasn't nervous how I usually be. I have been at points where I just won't show up. <laughs> I'm just being honest with mine. At one point, I, I, I showed up. I, I won't show up, but, but, but I knew I couldn't do that. Coming down the road this morning, family praying for me. Still haven't got that. Whether I take that back, I take that back. I, was, I, I, I do a daily reading every day. I read my daily reading, then popped on my mind. Because see, it all started, you see, God, God does things, I, I tell you. Last night, we was here at the benefit program. That choir got up and sung, he's able. And it caught my attention. And I immediately said, Lord, what scripture? But he didn't show, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't say anything. He didn't, nothing was saying. But after I got to read my daily reading, which wasn't even in the book of Acts, right. I was over in the Old Testament, right. and then, right. the chapter of Acts came up, Paul, his conversion. Right. So God, see, in his own time, yeah. when are we going to trust him? Yeah. When are we going to trust him? Yeah. We ought to be at the point, even if the came to, he didn't give it to me until I came up here and sat down. I, even when I stood up, we have to trust him. But yeah, he can use you. He can use you. First, he got to get your attention. He got to get your attention first. However that may be, he has to get your attention. Every day he's doing things and we so busy, caught up into our own life that we miss those things. Yes. But yet he doesn't give up. He doesn't give up. Then when he gets your attention, he can change. He can change it. Then he can use you. And, and, and Ed, when we look at Paul's life, Paul went through some things. He went through some stuff. He was beaten, whipped. They was even plotting his death in this chapter. But God is able to make a way. They were plotting, hiding out, waiting to kill him. But God already had a carriage to, to, to carry him away. He's able, y'all. He's able. How many of y'all want to be used to God? Amen. He's able this morning. Because see, you have to realize that the way he can use you. Made it able for him to use you. Because see, we were full of sin. Had no use. But Christ came down through 42 generations. Stepped off in Bethlehem, but you did. Born of a virgin. He said it was eight days old, circumcised. He said, 12 years old, he was in the temple amongst the doctors of the law, asking questions man couldn't answer. What manner of boy is this? He was Jesus, the Son of God, all knowing. Look at Yana at 18. Hold up. I want to say at the age of 30, he was down. At the river of joy, yeah. being baptized right. by John. Yeah. After his baptism, he went on on his mission. Yeah. He had a mission from the Father. Yeah. He was the light of man. He came that those that were lost might be saved. Yeah. It said that he opened blinded eyes. The mute to hear. 
those that were speechless could now speak. He even rose the dead back to life. Didn't he do it? But I'm so glad uh, that he went out on Calvary. We allowed him to stretch him wide, nail him to an old rugged cross. And he said in the word, if I be lifted up between the heaven and earth, I'll draw all men unto me. Aren't you glad this morning that Jesus went to Calvary and shed his blood for you and for me? Aren't you glad that you can live for the Lord because of what he done, not because of what we done? I'm so glad that he died. Didn't he die? I know he died. He showed up died. There wasn't no faith in his death. He died. Didn't he die? Surely know he died. I know he died. He died. They took him down and buried him in a borrowed tomb for three days. But that's all right. It wasn't over. He was handling business while he was in the grave. Ain't he good? Ain't he good? Ain't he good? I know he's good. He's awesome. He's wonderful. He's mighty. Yes, he is. He's a good God. Do anybody know him? Do you know Jesus? He's alright. I'm so glad. Don't have a third or fourth morning. He got up. He got up right early. He got up right early. Like me. I know he's alright. 